In this video, I'm going to show you the best paint tool for edging. Find out what it is coming up next. What's going on guys? Kendall here for Reynolds for Pros and Joes, helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do renovation tip and strategy videos as well as hands-on product tool and gear reviews like this one. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today, I'm on site at a paint project and I wanted to take a few moments to share with you what I believe is the best paint tool for edging or cutting in. And that is none other than the masker. And I believe that the masker is the best tool for edging and cutting in for three reasons. Number one, speed. Number two, consistency of output and performance. And number three, versatility. So I'm gonna show you all those three things today because I'm going to do a demonstration where I'm going to show you five different scenarios where you can use this masking tool. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to mask off a door casing. And once you mask off a door casing, this will allow you to paint whether you're gonna be brushing, spraying, or rolling. So allow you to apply paint, jam up to the trim without having to worry about getting paint on it. Then I'm gonna demonstrate how to mask off a baseboard. This is gonna be similar to the door casing. This is gonna allow you to paint, spray, brush, or roll all the way down to the baseboard without worrying about getting paint on the baseboard, okay? Then I'm gonna mask off the top of a wall where it meets the ceiling in a scenario where perhaps you'd be painting a ceiling, but you're not gonna be painting the walls, okay? Then I'm going to mask off a beam, okay? This would be used in a scenario like perhaps you're going to have a ceiling that has exposed beams like the room that I'm in now, and you want to paint the area of ceiling that's in between each beam without getting paint onto the beam itself. So that's the fourth scenario. And then the fifth scenario, which is probably the most exciting one is going to be, I'm gonna show you how to mask off a ceiling so that you can paint walls without getting paint on the ceiling, okay? So, let's jump into the first one. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna take off the tape and paper here at the top and pull out some, and then I'm gonna wrap it over the top edge of the trim. And I'm gonna start bringing it down, and as we get it down, we're gonna have it jam up against the wall here. We're gonna push it into place. We got that section into place, we're gonna move down a little bit further, and the whole time we're gonna be guiding it and making sure that we've got it exactly where we want it. So you move it down again, and if you've got it too far over to the left or right, you can, you can move it around a lot easier here. So if, let's just say that I'm pulling it down, I've accidentally got it stuck this way. Let me straighten it out. I wanna make sure that I'm jam up jam up here so I'm gonna go ahead there come on down another section and you have the flexibility here of being able to pull in longer sections like I'm doing right here or if you feel more comfortable doing it in you know shorter sections like this this is also possible so we just kind of work our way down work our way down the wall there and as I said I'm just adjusting to make sure I've got it exactly where I want it and so now I've reached the bottom here of the wall and then I'm just gonna tear it off okay so there I've when you're finished you can just take that and run your finger back all the way up along the edge there to make sure you've got it depending on what tape you've got if you've got a longer tape like I'm using here you just go ahead and wrap that over the edge and you're good to go. So if you can imagine here that you are working with a paint roller, you can take your roller and jam it all the way up against this wall here and just roll all the way down because you've got a very clean line here and you've got a good seal and you can just go ahead and just paint all the way down and you have security of knowing that your line is gonna be straight and if you've got your tape on there good, you shouldn't have any bleed through. So, there we go. Okay guys, on to the next scenario. This time I'm gonna be doing a similar masking job, but I'm going to be doing baseboards this time. So we're gonna use a very similar technique. I'm gonna take my 
tape and paper. I'm gonna pull some out like this so that I can have some in my hand to control. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started right here in my corner jam up. I'm gonna take my thumb and index finger and middle finger and push it down to get started. And I'm just gonna go right along that edge. And I'm gonna work slowly to get it right where I want it. Make sure I don't have any gaps in there. And just move along the wall. I get to the end, tear it off. Okay? So then I'm gonna come back through here, push that down. All right, so as you can see, we've got a very good seal here and our line is very sharp. We've got the protection of paper here so that we can not only have coverage for the top of our baseboard, but our entire baseboard is covered all the way down to the floor with this paper. And this also went on fairly quickly. So we've done our door casing and we've done our baseboard. Okay, so we've been working with the six inch paper so far. I'm gonna jump to the nine inch paper so that we can do the beam next. Stay tuned. Okay, so before we move to the beam, let's change out our paper. So I'm gonna tear my tape here. And then I'm gonna reach underneath and pull out my roll. I've got a little bit of tape left on here. I'll just kind of fold that over the top there so we don't have that unwind on us too much. Then I'm gonna take our longer nine inch paper. So you can see them side by side there. You can see the height difference. Do the same thing here. Okay, we've got our nine inch paper on there. And then we're gonna take our tape and we're gonna pull the tape forward, roll our spool of paper back a little bit and make sure that we're tight on there. And then I'm gonna flip up that, and now we're ready to go. So, see you on the ladder. All right guys, now I'm up on a ladder, and this is the third scenario. And I wanted to show you here that we've got a stained beam here. And if you look here to the left, there's another stained beam. We've already covered this one. But we've got a ceiling in the middle that we want to paint, and we don't wanna get paint on either one of these stained beams. So I'm starting in the middle here just for the sake of shooting this demo, but I'm gonna take the same technique that I used while I was on the floor. I've got my paper and tape here. I've got a longer paper here. I'm gonna take a section here. If you can see here, I'm gonna put my paper up here and tape jam up to the ceiling, and I'm gonna get it started there. And if you can see here, the masker is allowing me to get the tape jam up to the ceiling, if you can see that. So I'm able to just take my fingernail there and just push it all the way in, like that. I can pull off a little bit more, and I can slowly work it up to the exact height that I want to. Push that in there, pull some more. Same thing, okay? And I know that a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what are you gonna do now that you're on this ladder and you need to move the ladder over and your paper and tape are still up here on the wall? That is a excellent question. So what we do is we take our hand and we make sure that we pull straight to give ourselves some slack. And then I keep it up and I slide my ladder over and I step back up and I can still continue with the same piece of tape and paper. So I'm taking it all the way down here to the end.
ripped it a little bit short there, but you can see how this looks and you can see how crispy, you can see how crispy my line is all the way across. And it's all just one piece of paper and one continuous piece of tape. So then after this, we just simply would take our paper here and tuck it under like so, and then take our other side there, wrap it, wrap everything good. We have it here, tape here, tape here, tape there, move on. On to the next location. Okay, so for this next location, I'm going to be taping off the top of a wall where it meets the ceiling. And this is an application that you would use in a scenario where you were going to be painting only a ceiling and you were not going to be painting walls or trim, or perhaps you've already painted walls and trim and you don't want to get ceiling paint on your walls and trim as you paint your ceilings last. So this is going to be the scenario for that. So for this one, I'm going to be switching out products. I've got our nine inch paper on here still from showing you the beam demo. So let me stop and tear my tape again. I'm going to take off our nine inch roll of paper. And then I'm going to slide on our masking film. So I'm going to take our masking film like this. I'm not going to try to reuse this section right here because it's already got tape and everything on it. So I'll just peel that off once we get it started. I'm going to take our tape again and make sure I've got the film on there very good. Always make sure that the spool is on there very tight. So we've got everything on there like that. Then we're gonna flip our tape underneath like that. We've got everything the way that we want it. Then we're gonna slowly pull this down a little bit further. And then I'm just gonna grab my plastic here and tear that off so I've got a clean start. So what I'm gonna do in this scenario is I'm gonna start over here in the corner and I'm going to run my tape and masking film all the way across, okay? And then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now I'm up here at the top of the wall and I'm gonna be doing the same or similar technique that I did down there on the floor. So I'm up here at the very top of the wall and I'm making sure that I've got my mask are held very tight to the ceiling. And as I move, I'm just making sure that my tape is jam up. If I don't have it exactly the way I want it, I can manipulate it just like that. Remember, as I said before, I'm gonna pull some down here so that I can come down off of my ladder. Pull a little bit more out. Okay, I've got a long piece here, but I can still work with it just fine, making sure I've got everything up here in place the way I want to. I got to the end there, and I just tear it off, run it back like this. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our painting tape and our masking film up here on the wall. And in case you aren't familiar, the masking film looks similar to the painter's paper and the way that it's applied, but it actually has a completely 
different function. And let me show you. So even though this, this film looks like it's about 14 inches tall, it actually is going to cover this entire wall. So let me show you how this works. So now that I'm back up here, I just wanna make sure that I've got a very good connection up here with my tape. And I'm gonna reach here and I'm gonna begin to pull my film down. And this film actually does have a cling properties to it, as you can see, because it's hanging very closely to the wall here. Now you keep working. The film comes in more than one length. This length is specifically designed to go from floor to ceiling. It's a little bit shy on this wall because this room has ceilings that are about nine and a half feet. But as you can see, if you are in a property with eight foot ceilings, this would be on the floor. So this gives us that coverage all along this wall here. This will keep our paint off. So in that scenario where we're up here and we are rolling ceilings or spraying ceilings, you don't have to worry now about getting paint on this wall because you've got complete coverage here to keep your overspray and drips and drops off of your completed work or off the surfaces that you don't intend to paint. In any event that you went into this scenario where you have a wall that is taller than the length of this particular film, then all you would really have to do is take our nine inch paper and just run another run right here along the very bottom and then just tape it down to the floor. Same thing, quick, easy fix for this one. So that concludes this one. We've got one more application and this is probably the one that you've been waiting for. Okay, I'm back on the ladder again and I'm gonna be doing our last demo. And this one is going to be masking off at the ceiling for edging. And this application is what you would use if you're going to be painting a wall or attempting to do a cut in on a wall and you did not wanna get paint on your ceilings. So basically we're trying to preserve the ceilings and allow us to paint this wall jam up here to where the wall and the ceilings meet. So same technique, I'm gonna pull off some of our paper and tape here. I've got my ladder slightly too far back here. I'm gonna scoot it over just a little bit. And then we're gonna stand here. And I'm gonna pull out some. And then I'm gonna get my paper jam up here on my ceiling. Adjust that as needed. Push that there in place. that just like when we did before I had to leave myself some slack so I could come down the ladder and scoop my ladder over over here to the edge. I'm just gonna rip it like that. Make sure I've got enough to get me all the way to the end of the wall here. Make sure I'm tight. You smooth it out there. And then if you've got a second roll of tape here, you can just take you a few pieces and secure that 
edge so that it stays out of the way as you paint your wall. All right, guys, there you have it. There's your masking for your ceiling. And if you see any issues with your ceiling masking, you can easily hop up there and move, move it around without too much fanfare. Run your hand along there and, and smooth everything out. Okay, guys, hopefully I've just demonstrated that this tool is fast, it is versatile, and it is consistent with the way that it performs. So if you are preparing to do a paint project where you're gonna be doing a substantial amount of edging or cutting in, and there's a lot of trim work that you have to be able to protect, I highly recommend using this product. This is not a gimmick tool. This is actually a tool that is used by professional painters and contractors. If you're interested in learning more about this tool, looking into it further, the link is in the description box below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.